Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do your June 18th through July 1st reading. Now, you know, um, time is fluid when we're doing we're reading to, uh, tarot cards. So this may have happened, it will happen. I don't know, it may not even resonate with you. If it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Uh, follow, find me on Instago, Instagram. Uh, go fund the page if you're or the channel if you're feeling moved to. All the information is below. Book your own reading over at my website. The information is below. Okay. All right. So let's get started. First spread is for love. Second is for career and finance. And then we have our additional cards of support. Seven of Pentacles is right where you are. You're looking at your investments. You're looking at what you've invested in. You want to know if it's going to bear fruit. If it has bear, um, if it has, you know, I guess born fruit. Whatever. My English scholars, get down in the comments and let me know. Um, looking at investments, where you've invested your time, your energy, your love. You're also looking at the past looking back this could be a good thing this could be a hindrance we'll keep going this is where you are though are you on your correct path these two cards want to come out together two of wands you definitely choosing you know that you you're actively choosing a, another path to walk some of you it's like okay um and then the prince of swords you're doing this really quickly some of you are trying to move away from an air sign you know that this is not working because you're looking backwards you look at the time the energy the love you've invested you and it's not panning out well for you Uh, your main obstacle is the six of cups some of you have children or you this is a long standing relationship the memories the love it keeps you there it keeps you stagnant in a sense the children sometimes keeps you right where you are so that you it's always you know a hindrance to make that decision to move and, and quickly move away from You want to do something for your children. You want to have something for them. You don't want to uproot them. You're okay with uprooting yourself. Six of Cups. You keep going to the past. Seven of Pentacles, Six of Cups. You keep looking at the past. I think you have to look at what's in front of you. The Two of Wands. If it makes more sense to walk out of a situation, then that's what it is. Um, what's helping you? The world, you know. Um, you've gone as far as you can go in the cycle. This one to come out too, and the lovers. So you have a decision to make in regards to maybe another person. In regards to, we have two decision cards, two of wands, and the lovers. This is the choice. This is actively moving, and then you have an action card, the Prince of Swords. They move quickly. They give their truth the way they see it. That's all they have to offer is their truth, their words. So this is you, the lovers in the world. This is what is helping you. Two major arcana. It's like. You have to make the decision to either stay in a situation that is n is not going to transform because you've gone as far as you can go. You've gone in a circle. All you do is be going back in that circle. Or do you jump out of the circle, jump off the, the merry-go-round, make the decision to choose maybe another partner or to choose yourself. You keep going back to the good times. They just aren't enough here. Uh, how can progress be made? The Ten of Swords. 
end it. Let it in. It's already karmically ended with the world. Let it in. You've gone as far as you can go here. You've thought about it as much as you can think about it. You've molded over. You've been disappointed. You've been backstabbed. You've been all of those things in this situation. The death card is not here. Let's see. So I don't know if it's transforming into a certain... A do, Ace of Wands. Yeah, have the motivation to just move forward. You keep looking backwards. Let this die it's dead it's gone quit trying to revive something that's just not coming back this is in love all right ace of wands have light the fire under your own ass in the midst of you know in the midst of knowing that this situation is dead you know how do i get back to a place of um love first self-love how do i get back to a place of motivating myself to be better in the next relationship or just better for myself you keep looking backwards for some of you it's children here some of you you feel like this is a soulmate you've been with them for X amount of years you're looking at the time invested here it doesn't even matter at this point career and finance this is where you are you're at the three of hearts you regret not saying things here in your career and finance that's where you are are you on your correct path eight of clubs says that there's trouble in relationships due to jealousy and or greed this could be just outright um, gossip and at work in and around work this could be something moving swiftly in, a, in and around work due to jealousy and greed. Communication about the jealousy and greed. Your obstacle here is the King of Diamond. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It doesn't have to be. This is an actual court card, but this could be a boss. This could be a business owner. This could be you. This is your, your own obstacle here. This is someone who's in charge. And they like being in charge. Sometimes they're very good at it. Lots of times they're very good at it. They're the boss. For a reason. That could be your obstacle. What's helping you is the queen of club. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Someone who's very charismatic, outgoing, has an idea, moves on the idea. Um, is fun, is um, fun-loving, attractive in so many sense. You know, not just physically attractive, but just their aura is attractive. They, they attract what they need, what they want. This is the person helping you. They're normally an entre they could be entrepreneurs. The, the king and queen of club are entrepreneurs. How can progress be made here? Three of diamond. Choose to partner. Um, get your legal house in order. Also, this talks about legalities, legal problems, legal issues. Get your house in order. Okay. All right. Butterfly and at the bottom of the deck of. For the uh, career and finances, the tennis phase. Once again, letting something in. This is this could be a mindset for you because you have the tennis tennis swords here, then into the spades. This is basically the same card in two different decks. I mean, there's great disappointment. You there's great suffering here, but you have to let this in let it die yes it didn't pan out in the f manner that you wanted it to pan out but there is help here someone betrayed someone for some of you the money the finances could be tied up to a partner or king of diamonds 
they not only have you but they have someone else or they had someone else it was the ultimate betrayal some of you are wanting to leave a situation just because um, the money isn't there monetarily you guys are not um, equally yoked you feel like you're you may be carrying the brunt of the financial responsibility in this relationship this could be business partnership this could be actual romantic relationship you may be dealing with a younger air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius who is well-meaning but still immature in the sense of um, maybe taking personal responsibility all right so what we have for advice cards new exercise program with the ten of spades twice ten of swords twice some of you may be recovering from procedure you may have gained some weight you might you know it's just self-explanatory new exercise program you are stronger than you know yes you can get through this though you feel backstab betrayed let down once again it didn't turn out in your favor you're upset they're upset everybody's upset you're stronger than you know you can pull yourself up by the quote-unquote bootstraps anyway um you can do it you've, you've been here before the scary thing about life is being in a place you've never been in. But if you go back to a place you've been before, then it's like, okay, I've been here before. I don't like it, but I know how to get myself out of it. Volunteer. Nice. Um, you know, this could be actual physically volunteering, doing your alms, doing good deeds. Um, this could also just be volunteering in your own little sphere of, uh, of, um, people your own little uh, circle you know that someone is in need or has a need and you can feel that need don't wait for that person to ask you volunteer if it's money that they need if it's time or energy and you can give it and you know you can give it and you possibly know that the question of can you give is going to come volunteer it if you're feeling moved I'm not saying go and just give all your money your time and energy away but if you know that you can help and you feel like this is sincere your heart is moved to help and help volunteer it sometimes you know when people have to come to you or they tell you about what's going on with them maybe reluctantly or um, maybe they you know they love to tell you about their issues whatever um sometimes it's you know it's it's a really humbling process so you have to go to someone and ask for help okay but um it makes the situation a little less taxing stressful when you have a friend or a confident a confidant or uh, just a person in your corner who before you open your mouth to ask for they're already volunteering you see and that's much appreciated and that will go so much further I think that person be very grateful very appreciative anyway we move on healthcare change like I said some of you are dealing with healing also this these two spades these two tennis swords healthcare change you might have gone through a surgical procedure you need surgery or something like that or yeah they're giving you the diagnosis of having to cut you so in some manner healthcare change talks about getting a second third fourth fifth whatever opinion yes our healthcare professionals have gone through the schooling they know a lot more than we know but you know your own body better than anyone be motivated to do the research um, get that second and third opinion um, don't just take people's 
even professional advice just at you know face value go and seek out several people you know all right bottom of the deck motivation again you got motivation twice ace of wands and then motivation you have to be motivated to make this happen for you in career and finance in love and romance and in your health okay all right so libra if this resonated with you please like share comment subscribe to the channel um, it's much appreciated um, if you cannot request a personal reading um, do what is um, even more appreciated and do what is free go ahead and click that like button comment below I'm going to do a little drawing for my commenters I'm going to pick two random commenters and do a free five minute reading for them so that could be you go ahead comment below even if you're just saying hi um, share the post subscribe to the channel all right remember Libra when in doubt pray I'm praying for you pray for me as well take care and I will talk to you guys soon all right